Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones. The next question is, what is the future of NLP and hypnotherapy? Well, that's a, a great question. I'm uh, wrapping up my doctorate, my EDD in, uh, in education, and my plan has been to, uh, to lobby Congress, actually, for standardization of credentials. Now, when I start talking like that, you know, some hypnotherapists say, well, hold on there, buddy, wait a minute now. Uh, you know, standardization, I don't know. But when you think about it, when you go to a, uh, a hypnotherapist, uh, what does that mean? Uh, you go to a hypnotherapist and you go into their office, uh, does that mean that they've been trained in a certain way? Does that mean that, uh, that they received a certain number of hours of training? Uh, does that mean they went to some kind of certified program? Uh, no, uh, on a national level, at least in the United States, it doesn't mean any of those things. Different states in the United States of America have uh, different regulations. Uh, for example, Florida is, is fairly tough. Uh, other states don't. Uh, California is becoming tough in, in recent years, in the last 10 years or so. But uh, by and large, you, the consumer doesn't really know uh, what they're getting. So I'm not, I'm not putting down what any state does or any hypnotherapist or any hypnotherapy school. That, I'm not getting into that at all. What I am saying is, wouldn't it be nice when you go into a hypnotherapist's office to know what you're getting? I mean, when you go into an acupuncturist, uh, they have, they do have national certification. Chiropractors have it too. Uh, even massage therapists, have, I don't know if it's national, but they, they have a license. Uh, so I think LMT means licensed massage therapist. We, we don't have that in hypnotherapy uh, or NLP. So, uh, and the reason for that is that the government has been looking at it as uh, kind of like vitamins. You know, they don't, they regulate drugs. If someone wants to create a drug and start selling it, that's pretty well regulated. The FDA has got these standards that you have to meet and you have to pay a lot of money in order to get your drug produced and approved and has to be safe or at least reasonably safe and, uh, and, and so forth. Um, when you, um, uh, we, we don't have, we don't have anything like that. We don't have... Uh, any kind of uh, standardization like that. So what I'd like to see is some kind of standardization just for the consumer. So in my, in my opinion, the future of hypnotherapy, at least, uh, will, will deal with some sort of standardization where uh, techniques that work uh, will be part of the standard procedure, the standard of care, as a medical doctor would say, uh, and the ones that don't will be, will be eliminated. Uh, and this will be true of uh, NLP also which would probably end up being a, so, some sort of a subset of hypnotherapy. Now, that's my opinion. That's just the way I feel. I, you know, when I, when I walk into a doctor's office, I, I want to see a diploma on the wall. I want to I see a, uh, or a degree, I should say. <laughs> I want to see more than a high school diploma. I want to see a degree on the wall. I want to know uh, where they went to medical school. And I'll check them out. You know, I'll find out uh, where they went and so forth. And uh, you know, I'll look them up online and all that good stuff. Um, and we don't really have that in, uh, in the world of uh, hypnotherapy and NLP. And so we need that. Uh, it's going to make people, it's going to bring in uh, more people, more uh, highly qualified people, because uh, the best and the brightest, you always want to attract the best and the brightest. Uh, if they're getting a, you know, a certification in something that's not recognized nationally, then they're probably not going to do it. They're probably going to go towards something else, like being a chiropractor or being a medical doctor, which I think is great. But wouldn't it be nice to have more of a draw uh, for more people and make it more uh, interesting, more, uh, you know, better for them, safer, really. So it becomes better for the practitioners, better for the consumer. You got me started. That's, that's what I see as the future of hypnotherapy. We've got to have some kind of standardization. Uh, as far as the standard of care going in terms of techniques and all, that will all be regulated by that because um, it won't be uh, a matter of what someone thinks is good and what someone else doesn't think is good. It'll be a matter of clinical trials that show what works and what doesn't, eliminating what doesn't, making what works the standard of care. So hopefully that's the future as I see it, it is and it should be. Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones.